Sad to tell you, Colorado's top spellers were eliminated from the National Spelling Bee. While neither Teddy Schoenfeld nor Alex Durich missed a word during today's rounds, both failed to make the cut for the semifinals when yesterday's test scores were added up. As Scripps reporter Tanya Rourke shows us, only 46 out of the 281 spellers made that cut. Raconteur. Raconteur. I know this one, but can you give me a funny sentence for it? <laughs> Breaking the ice with a little humor can take the edge off when you're under the bright lights of the bee. Hello. Salutations. <laughs> so can debating spellings with your neighbors. Kids at the B learn how to spell aloud using all kinds of tools. Kimmy Collins explains. I always write it on my arm because I'm a visual person and this lets me see it for a second. D R E I D E L. Dreidel? Correct. Sterling Holland writes in the air and Vanya Srivashankar asks pointed questions. Does this come from the Greek root epi meaning upon? because it's nerve-wracking up here. Can I take a deep breath, please? <laughs> sure. So petrifying, even kids who've been here twice before, like Joseph Merced, who finished 12th at the B last year, get rattled. With all those cameras just taking pictures and all the lights, just and all the people just staring at you straight in the face. Um, so you're, it's you're really trying to ignore all of that. His word was... Whitloaf. Whitloaf. He starts... W... I T L O and stops. But time is fleeting. Now, may I restart my word, please? Of course. With the W I T. And just two seconds before the buzzer sounds. O F with loaf. That is correct. Yikes, I'm stressed just watching. Now, the B semifinals and finals are tomorrow. The National Spelling Bee is sponsored by the EW Scripps Company, which is the parent company of Seven News.